this is almost trivial. This is almost back to the human element because typically this is how we do this. This is how this is done. This hijacking uh, an account, compromising weak uh, passwords, uh, hijacking credentials. There are still login pages of some, of some cloud providers that I know about. <coughs> they encrypt the login page. So the data transmission is where I'm transmitting my username and password over the internet. It's unencrypted. I was sitting in my 401k the other day and I saw my social security number up in there. Unencrypted. In the string? Yeah, in the address part. That's beautiful. So, we stop. so that's a phishing email on the bottom left. This is Brittany Spears. Twitter account was hacked. We were all, I'm sure. Tell me aware of that. You guys all follow Brittany. <laughs> 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 and then uh, Sarah Palin, you remember 2008 with her email account was hacked? Do you guys know how that happened? Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, Yahoo. Yeah. Yahoo. Yeah. Yeah. reset. Yeah. It's like a daughter's birthday or something. And this is such an easy, I mean, we have, we have a social engineering uh, demonstration that we do. Uh, we, and, and you kind of have to fumble around a little bit. You can't be so polished when you do a social engineering attacks. Social engineering attacks are 100% effective. So, uh, our technical, uh, we're doing penetration testing, uh, we're maybe, maybe 30, 40% successful reaching some level of security. We may not be able to elevate our, our privileges to an administrator, but we can get in and do some things. Uh, social engineering tax have never been stopped. It stopped at levels, but then got around it, and that's part of the, the attack anyway. Uh, but the Sarah Palin one, I mean, a, a really kind of a neat demonstration for, for how to do that attack um, is uh, in a presentation like this, you can ask, them, you can ask for a volunteer, and the volunteer come up and say, I'm going to try to guess what you had for breakfast this morning. And I'm going to go, okay, whatever. <coughs> if I get it right, you have to give me your business card. Right? You know, I enter my mail address and spam you. If, if, you, if I don't get it right, I'm going to give you something. I mean, you can have something to give it to me. Like, oh, okay, cool. You know, sounds good. In order for you to guess what you had for breakfast, I need to ask you five questions. Those five questions, one's psychological, one's physiological, one's sociological, one is geographical, make, make whatever. Make whatever up. You're gonna ask them five questions. The five questions you're gonna ask them are the password reset questions that you have on the Yahoo account. And they're not even thinking about that, but they'll give that information out. Okay? So what's your really that? I mean, it's crazy. If you approach it the right way, I can ask most people what their mother's maiden name is. And most people will give that to me. You can almost ask people what their social security number is. As so long as you look like or act like somebody who should be having to, somebody who should have that information. Uh, so this is really trivial. Uh, there really isn't, there are a few accounts that aren't subject to this. Now where this makes it, uh, where the, where the the paradigm shifts a little bit is that now instead of that being something that I can potentially detect internally, so if you're trying to do, uh, let's say password cracking on my internal network, if I have the right monitoring systems, I'll detect that and respond to that quickly. However, if you're doing that on the cloud, I won't know about it. That's my concern. 